Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Steve Good pattern on quarter inch Baltic ply. I hadn't used the uh, plywood in quite a, quite a while. I've been using the hardwood and it was uh, a little reawakening to the differences between working with plywood and hardwoods. This part of the video I was just fighting these cuts. I, I felt like I had never used a scroll saw before. And maybe I forgot a few things, or I don't know. But when I got past this particular part of the pattern, I just stopped. I was frustrated. I was annoyed. The cuts were bad, although fixable. But it, it, I felt like I was just fighting. And I didn't understand what was going on until I decided to just walk away. I took a step back and I realized that the underside of these cuts, the plywood was chipping away. And because it was chipping away, it was catching on the table. And that's why I was fighting cutting. So I had to go to plan B. Plan B, you know, light bulb goes off. I picked up some Gorilla Grip clear contact paper. I ordered it, got it in the next day, got it onto the piece, and waited another day before I went back to it. But I did. Now I do realize a lot of people at scroll saw will use packing tape on both sides, front and back. Um, but what I found is I did that once before with the packing tape, uh, and it actually peeled off the back layer of the plywood because it was too sticky. The other reason I didn't want to use packing tape is because I have to lay down strips and strips and strips and I, I'm just not wanting to do that. I understand it might be more cost effective to use packing tape, but at this point for me, this is a hobby. I'm, it's not a business. But it takes me a lot longer to lay down packing tape than it does one sheet of contact paper. and. The reason that the contact paper is ideal for me, it's just ease of use. I, I've watched people put packing tape on. They just wrap the bejeebers out of the piece. And I'm like, there's wrinkles. And I'm like, I don't want to. I'm, I'm too much of a perfectionist. I, I like things to look neat and tidy. Again, this is my hobby. So these cuts now. Since I put the contact paper on, I, it, it was just like using hardwood. It was smooth. It, it ran well. I didn't have any more issues of, of fighting the cuts. I, it just was great. While I'm cutting, I'm thinking, and I'm like, hmm, this piece was reminded me that this was the reason I wanted to get hardwood to work with. I, I just never liked using ply for my projects. It was always something. It was always either having to do a lot of sanding on the backside or the chipaways or cutting. I don't believe that I ever used contact paper on the back, but I did use the packing tape on the back once. And that's why I said peeling off the packing tape just peeled off the layer of plywood. So that was no help. And once I got the hardwood given to me and I started using that, I really didn't want to go back to plywood. But unfortunately, I don't have quarter inch plywood and I don't want to plane down half inch to quarter inch and waste all that wood because I don't have the ability to uh, slice those in half. So I've, I had this one piece left and I figured I'd go for it. When I started this project, and I was fighting it. I'm like, I'm never using Baltic birch or any plywood ever again. But amazingly enough, the contact paper changed my thoughts on that. I have a solution. I can go back to using this for projects that require it. Uh, I'd much rather utilize the Baltic birch instead of hardwood because it's less expensive for a lot of projects. Now this particular project calls for, I believe it's a three-quarter inch backing board, 
and I'm absolutely not going to use hardwood for that. Um, I can't afford to kind of waste it on that. So I have another idea of, of how to do that. Uh, but this project's going to get set aside after this part is done because I'm on to something else as well that I want to do. But I will. I have a solution. Don't have the, the wooden stock. But I will get back to this because I really, it's a welcome sign. I don't know if I said that early on, but this is a welcome sign that I would like to put out in front of my house. And when I'm done, I'll show you either in my uh, community posts or a short video, I'll show you the finished product. But once this cut was done, I was extremely happy. The backside looked beautiful. The contact paper came off with no issues. Um, I actually had very little sanding where the contact paper was, but where I had it in the beginning, there was a lot of sanding that needs to be done to, to fix it. So this is what I have accomplished. I'm not doing any more at this point. And before and the cut when it was complete, this is the front side. If you got this far in the video, Thanks for watching. God bless.